Baba katika jina la Yesu mchana wa leo tuko mbele zako tutamani kunenewa na we, na we wako hatuna maneno ya kusema jinsi ambavyo umetenda na tunaamini kuna mambo mengi bado umekusudia kuyatenda na sasa tunaenda kuketi na kusikia neno lako Bwana tuwaomba unene nasi tuko tayari kupokea kutoka kwako maana wewe haujawahi kosa kutenda tunakuamini na tunakutarajia twateka nyara mawazo yote na nguvu za kupotesha neno lako. Toomba uwepo wako ukawe pamoja nasi. Mpe mchungaji usemi na roho wako mtakatifu akatawale mahali hapa. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kanisa tuseme amen. amen. Mpigie Bwana makofi mazuri tunapomkaribisha mchungaji. Amen. 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 Let's appreciate ushukuru Bwana hata kwa sababu ya Amen. Wangapi tumebarikiwa asubuhi ya leo? Adhuri ya leo. Amen. Nataka tuweze kuingia katika neno la Bwana kwa maana leo nataka kumaliza ibada mapema kidogo. Kwa hivyo tufungue kitabu cha Waibrania sura ya As we stand, as we stand, tufungue Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 19. I want us to read together to end in back verse. That is something. So we are going to read almost 15 chapter verses. Biblia nasema and sisters since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus by a new and living way open for that is his body uh-huh since we have a great priest over the house of God Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from our guilt concerns and having our bodies having our body washed with the pure water verse 23 let us hold and severe with to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful aha uh-huh. and let us consider how we may spur one another toward love and good deeds let's go to verse what aha uh-huh. not giving up meeting together as the habit of some aha uh-huh. as habit of are in the habit another all the more <coughs> sorry as you see the day approaching verse 26 if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth no sacrifice for sin is left mm-hmm. but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of god verse 28 Anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three. Aha. Uh-huh. How much more severely do you think someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the son of God under foot, who has treated as an holy thing the blood of the covenant that sacrificed them, and who has insulted the spirit of grace for we know him who said it is mine to revenge to avenge i will repay and again the lord will judge his people it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living god remember those earlier days after you had received the light when you endured in a great conflict full of suffering sometimes you were publicly exposed to insults and persecutions at other times you stood side by side with those who so treated who so treated you suffered along with those in prison and jefi accepted confiscation of your property but you knew that you yourselves had a better and lasting possessions for in a little while you will be richly rewarded he who is coming will will come and will not delay 
and by my righteous we but my righteous one will live by faith and I take no pressure in the one who shrinks back but we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed but to those who have faith and are saved in Jesus name father we thank you for your word I pray as I minister naponena na watu wako kwa neno lako siku ya leo I pray for grace I pray for favor I pray that this word will be of benefit kwa utukufu wa jina lako bariki watu wako na wainue kwa utukufu wa jina lako katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini can we shout amen tupigie bwana makofi mazuri Tunaweza keti we can have a seat in Jesus name. Thank you for coming. Asante kwa kupatikana katika ibada hii ya pili. May the Lord literally bless you in Jesus name. Leo nataka kuongea kwa ufupi, kwa ufupi. Nimesoma maandiko marefu na maybe Mungu atakusaidia as you go and sit down. These scriptures will come live to you. They are deep scriptures very deep scriptures but in a short while i want to talk about a faith that leads to victory imani inaoleta ushindi katika maisha yetu we are living in a time where there is a lot of complaining kuna malalamishi mengi kuna complaining mingi na kuna vitu vingi na hapa ndipo maandiko ya verse 37 but my righteous shall live by faith bwana wetu asifiwe watu wanaomjua mungu wao hawaishi kwa vitu ambavyo vinavyotendeka wanaishi kwa imani ambayo mungu ameweka katika maisha yao it is faith that keeps believers to move on it is faith that protects people from going back it is faith that gives us victory when we feel like we are being defeated bwana wetu asifiwe ikiwa kuna kitu kitakupa ushindi katika maisha yako it is nothing big but faith your faith will deliver you wakati mwingi Yesu alipokuwa anaponya watu ukisoma katika kitabu cha the gospels utakuta ya kuwa alikuwa anawaambia according to your faith let it be done to you imani yako ndio itakukomboa wakati mambo yendi vile ambavyo unavyotarajia It is your faith that will keep you moving even when things are not going in the right direction. And I have come to remind you this afternoon that your faith will make you to be victorious in everything. People are complaining, vitus in panda juu. Yes, that is the reality. But what does your faith do? Na imani ambayo inasimamisha watu wa Mungu imani ambayo inaleta ushindi katika maisha yetu ni imani ambayo iko na three important components vitu vitatu vya maana ambavyo ndugu wetu wameviongelea katika kitabu cha Ibrania kitabu cha Ibrania the alpha is bringing and letting let it the theology of the old into the new analete ile injiri ya kitambo ile mambo ilikuwa inafanyika wakati wa kitambo kwa sheria za Musa analete na kuionyeshana vile inavyolete faida katika Mkristo wa saa hii amen na analete the sacrifice the bill ambazo zilitolewa in fact from genesis from hebrew chapter 1 to almost hebrew chapter 9 anaongea kuhusu yale mambo yalikuwa yanafanyika katika sheria za Musa na nailinganisha na kile ambacho kimetendeka katika Ukristo saa hizi but in chapter 10 he's preparing the people to faith kuonyesha kuwa ni imani ndio inayo mata na ndio inaleoleta ushindi na kikuja kumalizia chapter 10 aingie chapter 11 anaongea kuhusu the exploits of faith and introduce how faith in ya maana katika Mkristo na naonekana elements vitu ambazo zinazoshikilia imani kwa Mkristo na how faith 
turn into a believer. Bwana wetu asifiwe. But at Ephesians chapter 11 anasonga mbele na kuoneshana the exploits of faith. Anachukua mtu mmoja, anachukua Abraham, anachukua Noah, anachukua how what wote he has listed the men of faith how through faith they were able to conquer. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Let me remind you this afternoon. Yakuwa it is by faith, by faith we shall be able to conquer. It is by faith that we shall be able to get victory. Mwaka huu wa siasa, you will hear many things. It is only by faith that our country will be able to stand. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Faith and prayer of all believers. In the morning I took some time na nikasema ya kuwa, we need to pray for this nation. We need to seriously pray for this nation. Na nashukuru kwa mana tumejiunga na tuna wa chungaji na watu kadhaa and from to from tomorrow we are beginning a 40 days karibu siku 40 ambao tunashikana wachungaji wa hii area na karibu hii area yote na pia in the whole country people are praying and seeking the face of god for almost 40 days because of this nation i have had three men of god nimesikia watu watatu wa mungu ambao ninawaheshimu wawili they are outside of this country one is in this country Na kitu kimoja wamesema concerning election ambayo inakuja mwaka huu is that we need as a nation to pray. Bwana wetu asifiwe. We need kama taifa kuomba. Everybody has his own desire. I talked with one senior bishop, a friend of mine last week. Na alikuwa ananiambia mimi nimeweka desire yangu. Kuna ule mtu nataka awe president na nimeiweka tayari kwa meza ya Mungu. But not my will. Let God's will be done. Bwana wetu asifiwe. And we need to do that. We need to seriously pray for this nation. There are two things which the three men were agreeing in. Hawa tumishi watatu nilisikiza walikuwa nakubaliana kimoja. There's the will of God and there's the will of men. Kuna mapenzi ya watu na kuna mapenzi ya Mungu. Bwana wetu asifiwe. If people don't pray, the will of men will prevail. If people pray, the will of God will prevail. There is the will of men and there is the will of God. If you pray, the will of God will prevail. If you don't pray, the will of men will do what? Will prevail. Now, like I said on last Sunday, Samuel, Saul, was as the result of the will of men. Watu walitaka mfalme na they pushed God na Mungu akawape mtu ambaye walitaka that was Saul and the bible records wakati wa Saul people did not inquire of the Lord hata sanduku la Bwana lilikaa kwa nyumba ya mtu for 20 years wakati Saul alikuweko but then the will of God Mungu akainua Daudi akapitia mambo mengi but at the end of the day he was the king Sema kitu cha kwanza Daudi alifanya alirejesha sanduku la agano alirejesha worship of God katika nyumba ya Bwana If we pray the will of God will pray it prevail in this country If we don't pray the will of men will prevail but let us pray that God's will will be done in Jesus name. Bwana wetu asifiwe. In this year of election kama vile nilikuwa nasema so many things are happening but we need men and women of faith. And I will just mention of three things kwa imani ambayo inayoleta victory katika maisha yetu and I will be done. Today I don't want to talk much. Leo tunataka kule foundation ya faith. Imani iko na vitu vitatu vya maana sana. Vitu vitatu za maana. The first thing we get it in the book of uh, in Hebrews chapter 19. Let's read from verse 19 to 22. Or let's begin from 20. Let's go to verse uh, 21 to 22. 22 20, 21 to 22. Uh -huh. 21 to 22. That is the first component. Ya imani ambayo inayo letter. Biblia nasema, and since we have a great priest over the house of God. Verse 22 nasema namna gani? 
Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with a full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilt conscience and having our body washed with the pure water. Amen. Bwana wetu asifiwe. The first component ya faith ambayo inayolete ushindi katika maisha yetu ni a faith that draws us near to God. Amen. Drawing near to God. Kumkaribia Bwana. Faith should be about God. Faith should not be about us. Faith should be about God. Na imani ambayo inasukuma watu kumkaribia Mungu imani hiyo inaletanga ushindi kwa maisha ya watu people should seek god a faith true faith will push somebody to seek after god if you read from genesis back all through to revelation utakuta kitu kimoja kwa wale watu wanaitwa watu wa imani look at abraham as a man who is called called and it baba wa imani the father of faith what pushed his faith kila wakati alikuwa anaenda anatoa dhabihu mbele za bwana he was drawing near to god he was seeking god faith must push us imani inastahili kutusukuma tumtafute bwana katika maisha yetu a faith that does not seek god is just emotions Ah, kujitia tu nguvu lakini imani ya kweli the component of a and a faith that leads to victory is the fact that hiyo imani itakusukuma kumtafuta bwana amen seeking after god look at david david biblia sema a man after my own heart alikuwa na imani na imani hiyo ambayo ilikuwa inampa ushindi katika maisha yake na katika ufalme wake na katika kuangamiza simba na zile vitu vingine hata Goliath it is because David number one was a man who could go to God every day amen he could seek God Psalms 63 inasema namna gani listen to what David says Psalms 63 from verse 1 inasema namna gani 63 verse 1 put for me faster 63 verse 1 sitaki kukaa sana nasema you god are my god look this is david anasema wewe mungu ni mungu wangu honestly i seek you kwa bidii ninakutafuta i thirst for you my whole being longs for you and in a dry and parched land where there is no water I will seek after you. Amen. Faith faith will push you to seeking after God. Faith is not about pride. Faith is about humility in the presence of God. Nikunyenyekea mbele za Bwana. Na ndio nasikia Biblia nasema kwa sababu tuko na kuhani mkuu. Kwa hivyo tumkaribie Bwana. Let us draw near to God with a faith na imani ambayo ndio inatusukuma tuende katika mbele za Bwana. Men of faith are men who seek after God. Amen. Men of faith are men who draw near to God every now and then. Faith does not come. Faith inatoka ni kwa sababu tukimkaribia Bwana kuna kitu Mungu anafanya. God speaks to us. And when he speaks to us, we activate that by faith. Mungu anakuambia hauoni lakini mimi ninaona pitia injia. Watu wanafikiria ni kana kwamba wewe ni mwendazimu lakini ni kwa sababu every time you draw near to God God speaks to you. Mungu aliongea na Abraham vitu vingine mpaka mke wake alikuwa anamcheka. Anamwambia na kuja anambia Sarah yes. Unajua uko miaka 90 eh but tutapata mtoto. Mke wake anageuka anasema hata Abraham mume wangu ni kama ameenda mwendazi mwendazimu. Why? It is drawing near to God. When you draw near to God, God starts speaking to you. Anaweka imani ndani yako that will lead you to victory in Jesus name. May our heart seek after God in Jesus name. Kipindi hiki ambacho watu wanatafuta vitu vingi. I pray in this church Mungu atapata wazee wa mama na vijana ambao wana imani inayowasukuma kutafuta uso wa Bwana. Haiwatukumi kutafuta vitu vingine inawasukuma kutafuta uso wa Bwana. And seeking God 
requires number one, a sincere heart. Kutafuta mwana kunahitaji moyo ulio msafi. Dealing with your sin, dealing with your iniquity. Amen. Because we believe nasema katika mstari wa 26 inasema verse 26 let's jump to verse 26 inasema namna gani verse 26 give me verse 26 if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of truth no sacrifice for sin is left seeking god requires a clean heart kumtafuta bwana kunahitaji moyo ulio msafi dealing with your sin confessing your sin kwa maana dhabihu iliyotolewa pale msalabani kwa sababu ya dhambi hakuna dhabihu ingine itakaye tolewa ndugu yangu dada yangu haleluya therefore for us to draw near to god we should do it vile biblia nasema katika mstari wa pili therefore 22 just jump to 242 jump to 22 again inasema let us draw near to god with a sincere heart Hallelujah. A sincere heart. Faith, listen to me. Faith hates sin. Imani inachukia dhambi. Because God hates sin, faith also hates sin. Faith loves righteousness. Na ndio unaona inasema having our heart sprinkled nyo yetu imetakaswa cleanses from a guilty conscience and having our body washed with the pure water amen faith hates sin true faith and faith that brings a victory inachukia dhambi faith that brings a victory loves righteousness inapenda utakatifu inapenda vitu ambazo ni safi na zina maua mbeleza bwana faith pleases god amen imani inampendeza mungu na ndio biblia inasema katika kitabu cha hebrews let's jump to hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 inasema namna gani without faith it is impossible to please god It is impossible to pray because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and he rewards those who do do what earnestly seek him so faith and seeking god goes together kwa nini imani yetu wakati mwingine inakuwa haba that is what i'm trying to answer this morning this afternoon kwa nini imani yetu sa zingine inakuwa haba because imani yetu ni haba kwa sababu haiskumi haitusukumi kumtafuta bwana when we seek god our faith is strengthened we can speak things and things start happening in our life amen and we live a life of victory because tunamtafuta bwana and this is my challenge to this church let us seek god amen hii kipindi tafuta bwana ndugu yangu Dada yangu tafuta Bwana. Young person seek God. Seek God. That is the first component. Faith will lead you to draw near to God. Imani itakufanya umpende Mungu zaidi na usongee karibu. That is the first thing. Amen. The second component that our brother is expounding katika haya maandiko is in verse 23. It's in verse 23 the second component ya faith inasema let us hold and severing to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful first component ya imani ambayo inaleta ushindi ni imani inayotusongesha mbele za Bwana a person who comes drawn near to god that person imani yake inamletea ushindi the second thing is holding fast on our confession kusikilia kile ambacho tunaamini faith faith is about holding your christianity you believe in god hold firm that one hii ndio wakati watu wa Kristo wengi wanasahau wameokoka. Wanakumbuka au ni wakabila gani? Fulani? Mimi ni wakabila fulani. In 207 people never hold on what they believe. Watu walianza hata kwa kanisani kupigana wenyewe kanisani. Na hata sio kanisani, mbuke na mume. 
Mimi nimeoa mkikuyu, mimi ni kabila fulani na kwa hivyo anaanza mpaka kupiga mke wake ni kwa sababu wa kabila fulani because of tribal things. Faith is about holding fast on the what you believe in. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Kushikilia kile ambacho unaamini. And I want to encourage believers in this period of politics. Hold firm on Jesus Christ. Shikilia Yesu. Wacha kushikilia mwanasiasa. Wacha kushikilia ule mtu unaamini ndiye atakuwa president ama atakuwa MP ama atakuwa nini. Shikilia Yesu kwa maana huyo atakuja, anaweza anguka, anaweza pata, lakini ukishikilia Yesu Jesus will never be defeated. Jesus will never be defeated. Na ndio ndugu wetu akasema hold and severe bila kutikika bila kuwa na wasiwasi. I am praying for the church in Kenya in this period of election that we will stand firm for Jesus. Tutasimama sababu ya kile tunaamini. Amen. Kwa maana imani ambayo italeta ushindi ni imani ambayo inatetea ila tetea what you believe in Dugu wetu Jude let's jump to Jude verse 3 Jude is the last second book in the New Testament Jude verse 3 nasema namna gani Dear friends although I was eager to write to you about salvation we share Dugu wetu alitaka kuandikia wapendwa wale kuhusu wokovu ambao ni maana I felt compelled. Anasema ninasikia nimeimizwa kuandikia. Na hata mimi leo ninasikia kuwaambia. Eh? Urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. Pigania, shikilia, defend the faith, defend the faith, defend the belief that was entrusted to God's people. Amen. Don't allow anything else kutoa hiyo. A faith that gives victory ambayo inaleta ushindi ni imani ambayo kitu cha kwanza inatetea kile kiko ndani yake. That's why Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Ibrania wengine hata waliteswa. Wengine hata wakauawa kwa sababu ya imani wengine hata wa, hawakuona mambo ikitimia but their faith is a testimony mpaka wakati wa leo faith that brings a victory is a faith that holds inashikilia kila ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako you are born again hold firm on that in Jesus name pesa ya siasa pesa ya siasa because siasa hii itamwogwa pesa mingi Nasikia kuna billions zimemwagwa tayari na bado zingine zikamwagwa. Bado kuna pesa zikamwagwa. Pesa ya siasa isiuwe kile ambacho umeamini katika maisha yako. It will kill your faith. Na Biblia inasema the righteous shall live by faith. So ikiwa imani yako how will you live? Will you live by politics? Will you live by what? May we hold family in Jesus name. Tushikilie kile Mungu ameweka ndani yetu katika jina la Yesu. Don't allow the devil to divide you on the lines of politics, but let God hold you together katika njia ya kile ambacho umeamini. Amen. Hold firm. Bila kutetemeka. Hebu weka NIV, weka King James version. Weka King James version. Inasema namna gani? King James version. King James version hiyo mstari inasema namna gani? King James version. Aha. King James imepotea, ikuna huko niweke yangu. King James version. Hii ya Jackson inapotea anga zingine. Au oh, imepatikana. Let us verse 23. I mean verse 23 please. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without doing what wavering tushikilie kile ambacho tumeamini bila kutikiswa put amplified version i want different version put amplified version hapo amplified version amplified version inasema namna gani aha amplified version inasema let us cease to shake and hold fast 
and retain the amplified version in Eka Vitu Tatu. Seizing, holding, and retaining. Seizing, holding, and retaining. Without wavering, the hope we cherish and confess and acknowledgement of it. For he who promised is reliable and faithful to his word. Amen. Let's go to New Living Translation. New Living Translation in the Nagani. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. In Asema Namnagani. Without wavering, let us hold tightly, tightly to the hope we say we have. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. Amen. Bana wetu asifiwe. Let us hold tightly. Shikilia yo wakovu wako kwa nguvu. Shalimia jilani ya kumambia shikilia kwa nguvu. Bana wetu asifiwe. Siasa isikutoe katika wokovu. Siasa isikutoe katika wokovu. Ati mimi ni wa mlengo frani, mimi ni wa mlengo frani. Ni sawa. Lakini isikutoe katika kile mungu wa meweka. Because it will dilute your faith. Itafanya imani yako ipungue. Tamata ulimwengu huu. Zisikutoe katika wokovu wako. The desires of this world. Zisikutoe katika wokovu wako. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Desires. Kutamani kama wewe ni kijana, kutamani kuolewa ama kuoa usikutoe katika wokovu wako. Because these things are passing away. Hizi vitu ni vitu ambazo zinapita. The Bible says, why should we hold family? Because the God that promises can be trusted. Yule Mungu ambaye ameahidi tunaweza muamini. I want to tell you this afternoon we have a God we can trust. Hata kama kuna vitu umeomba na zijatibiwa the God that we believe in we can trust him. He can be trusted. You cannot trust men. You can trust politicians. Politicians always you are mini wanabadilika kulingana na matakwa yao. According to their interests they change. Politicians will change. Lakini Mungu habadiliki. We can trust God. What one habadilika? Somebody can tell you I will keep you. Nitakuu, nitakuoa. Utakuwa mke mzuri utafanya nini? Ukishaingia kwake vitu zinaanza kubadilika. People can change. But God can be trusted. Politicians can change. Leo unaweza chukia ndugu yako kwa sababu ya mwanasiasa fulani. Kesho ukuto huyo mwanasiasa ule ulikuwa unachukia ndugu yako ndio marafiki na yeye. Na ulichukia ndugu yako. Eh? Now we know that. We know that. Politicians can change. But God cannot change. Hold firm on what you believe. Sikilia hiyo na usiruhusu siasa ikondoe katika mapenzi ya Bwana. Your faith is more important than your politics. Because we shall live by faith but not by politics. Hallelujah. We shall live by faith not by things of this world. Vitu vya ulimwengu wetu zinaonekana siko mbali, but when you hold firm on that which God has called you, Mungu atasimama na wewe. And I pray in this church, may we hold firm on what God has called us to do. Tushikilie hicho Mungu ameweza kutishikilia. The second component of faith is holding firm on what you believe. The hope in Jesus. That faith will give you victory in Jesus name. And the last thing I want to finish now. The last thing, the last component ya imani ambayo inashinda iko katika mstari wa 24 and verse 25. Let's go to 24 and verse 25. 24 and verse 25. Hebrews are nini? Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 to 25. Inasema namna gani? And let us let us let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Aha, uh-huh. mstari wa 
Not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hallelujah. Let us consider how to spur one another. The that component is considering one another. Faith is not a one-person thing. Faith is about also the other person. Considering the other person. Imani. Imani. Inahusu kuhudumia ndugu yako na kuhudumia dada yako. Imani. Inahusu kujua jinsi utadil na ndugu yako na dada yako. People are important in the presence of God. Whether they are good or they are bad, people are important in the presence of God. That's why Jesus died for every person. Yesu wa kukufa msarabani kwa sababu ya watu wazuri, alikufa ata kwa sababu ya wakora. Alikufa ata kwa sababu ya wala ambao wanatusi yeye. Wanaamuka subu ya nasima mungu ni nani? Mungu ni nani? Yesu wa likufa kwa sababu yao. God loves people. Mungu anapenda watu. Na ndiyo John chapter 3 verse 16 the most common scripture inasema for God so loved the world. Hiyo jina world from the Greek word ni ethno, ethnos inamaanisha watu, haimaanishi ulimwengu, miti, nini inamaanisha watu. God so loved people. Alipenda watu ndiye akatoa mwana wake wa pekee. God loves people and faith that is Victoria must consider one another. Imani ambayo ina ushindi ni lazima iwe ni imani ambayo inajali yule ndugu mwingine. We don't criticize one another, we build one another. We don't condemn one another, but we we help one another. Bwana wetu asifiwe. We don't rebuke one another ama unafukuza ule mwingine. No, you help one another. Bibi nasema consider how we may spare one another towards love and good deeds. Tuangalie vile imani ni kujenga yule mwingine because tomorrow he will build you. When I build you today, tomorrow you will build me. If I don't build you today, you will also not build me tomorrow. If I destroy you today, you will also destroy me today, tomorrow. Faith is about caring for one another. That's why the story of Joseph, unakumbuka hadithi ya Yusufu katika Biblia. The brothers wanted to destroy Joseph. Walitaka kumwangaliza Joseph. But then, kwa sababu Joseph alikuwa na imani ambayo iliinua ndoto yake na ndoto yake ikatimia. Yeye alipoona ndugu zake kama ni mwanadamu wa kawaida ingekuwa ni kurevenge. There's a spirit squeezing meanza kuingia kanisani and I want to rebuke it in this church in Jesus name. The spirit ya kujirulipishia kizazi. I want to revenge. Ulinifanyia kitu kivulani nataka ku revenge. Joseph aliposimama hakutaka kuri aliona ndugu zake hakuona wale watu ambao alitumia aliona Mungu aliyetumia ndugu zake kumpush kukuja ndiye atimize ndoto zake na akasema enda uambie baba yangu ajiandae wakuje nitaongea na farao the best place in Egypt nitalele baba yangu na ndugu zangu wakae hapo na hivyo ndio alifanya Aliwapeleka mahali panaitwa Goshen. Goshen was the richest place in Egypt. Mahali kulikuwa na mchanga mzuri na walikuwa naweza kulima na kufanya nini? Na what does the Bible says and the children of Israel prospered in Egypt. Kwa maana waliwekwa mahali pazuri pa kufanikiwa. Wakafanikiwa, wakazaana, wakapata mali. Baka Farao alipoinuka ule mwingine akaona wivu kuhusu Israel. Consider one another. Build one another. Amen. We are here as a family. The church is a family. Faith is a collective thing. Imani ni kitu collective. Leo ninaweza shushika moyo, lakini imani yenu inaweza niinua tena. Bwana wetu asifiwe. We unaweza shushika moyo lakini my, my faith imani yangu kama mchungaji na imani ya wale wapendo mwingine can lift you up again can lift you up again. Hallelujah. Therefore the church the church 
should consider one another, not fight one another. The spirit ambo inataka kupandwa na yule muovu ya kuvunja kanisa in lines of politics, in lines of tribal, in lines of mimi ni wa area hii, mimi ni wa mutu hii. We want to rebuke it in Jesus' name. We want to come against that in Jesus' name. Because the church will not have a voice if we are divided. Ikiwa tume gawanyika, we will not have point. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Yesu alipokuwa na malizia, alikuwa na anongia na ijion. Akasema, na utakapo rejea, utakapo rejea, lift your brothers up. Amen. Inuwa ndugu yako. Iman is about lifting your brother up. Ni kuona dada fulani ya jakuja kanisani, Faith will push you when the umulize your dada ni nini kinafanya. Amen. Sio kusema wacha akae. Wacha akae. Bora mimi nimeokoka. Bora mimi nendanga church. No. That is not faith. Faith ni kuona mzee fulani ako chini anashindwa na shetani. Unaenda pale unamsaidia, unapigana vita na yeye, unamrejesha kanisani. That is faith that will give victory. If you can win your brother back, then you have a faith that will bring victory in your life. If you can win your sister back, if you can win ndugu yako dada yako, kama ni kijana na unaona kijana mwingine ana teso na yule mwovu, win him back, consider him. Na umuonyeshe vile ambavyo anaweza rejea kanisani na kushinda, then you have a faith that gives victory in your life. Bwana wetu asifiwe. May the Lord help us as a church in Jesus name. Bwana tusaidie kama kanisa that our faith will not be shaken in this period in Jesus name. Hata kama vitu zimeenda namna gani, hold fast on what God has given you. Wacha kwenda kwa waganga. Kuna wakristo ambao wanaendanga kwa waganga. Hmm? Nimeombewa sioni mabadiliko. Na kwa hivyo anaenda kwa waganga kutafuta waganga. Na anakuja kanisani. You will your faith your faith my brother your faith my sister haitakusaidia because utakuwa tu ni mtu wa kuja kanisani but hold firm on what you believe die for god sikilia bwana sikilia na uamini build one another consider one another amen consider one another kuwa katika ushirika Faith will push you to fellowship with God's people, not fellowship with Mikoras. Imani haita kusukuma uende kuwa na ushirika na Mikora. Ndio verse 25 inasema namna gani? Asama in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. Eh? Not giving up meeting together. Faith itakusukuma kwa cell group yako. Your cell group is be an important thing. You are group ya wazee na wamama na vijana itakuwa maana because how do you watu watasimama na wewe Amen Remember this Remember this When somebody is blessed in the house of God Kwa mfano wacha tena wacha katika nyumba Bwana Ikiwa mtu anabarikiwa kwenu a true person will be a blessing to the whole family Si ndio If somebody your brother in this church is blessed he will be also a blessing to you if we hold the right faith bwana wetu asifiwe atakushikilia na leo usione uko juu vigilia kesho uhitaji huo mwingine vindu vijenganga vitu vya nini ubadilika unaweza jikuta uko chini kidogo na mwingine yako juu na aseme kwa maana sasa niko juu wacha ninue huyu alikuwa juu muende juu pamoja Consider one another. Don't think of another person umuone kwa hii kanisa. Na umuone ni kana kwamba ni mtu ambaye hawezi fanye jambo lolote. Every person is important in Jesus name. Faith counts every person important. Imani inaona kila mtu ni wa maana. Amen. Kila mtu ni wa maana. May God give us a faith that will be able to overcome in Jesus name. May God build in you a faith through these three pillars. Vitu vitatu za maana drawing near to God, seeking after God. Holding firm on what you confess. Kushikilia kile ambacho uko nacho. Usiruhusu mwengu ichukue. Na number 3 considering one another. 
may God build our faith that we may not shrink back but we will believe and be delivered in 2022 in Jesus name let's stand and pray let's stand and pray let's stand and pray I want us to stand and pray stand and pray I want to pray for you that God will release in us a faith a faith that will stand the testing of 2022 in Jesus name every year has its own testing miaka miwili iliyopita kulikuwa na testing kubwa sana kwa sababu ya magonjwa hiyo magonjwa ni kama we have defeated them and we are moving on but a new testing is coming na sasa hii ninaiona inaingia mpaka kanisani the testing of politics the testing of economy the testing of all these kind of things will our faith push us through through this testing again with our faith push us through this just lift up your hand tell god to build you a faith to stand every test bwana tuombie imani ambayo itasimama kila jaribu katika maisha yetu a faith that will stand every testing in jesus name that we will not be compromised we will not be tempted to walk in the ways of the enemy but we will walk in your ways give us a heart to seek you tupe moyo wa kukutafuta bwana moyo wa kusongea karibu na wewe give us the spirit the will to say no to unrighteousness kusema hapana kwa mambo ambayo yanatendezi give us a faith that we consider and build one another and that your name will be exalted lord we love you and we worship you we love you and we honor you lord we love you this afternoon we worship you you are great and you are holy and you are mighty changanyikiwa na vitu vingi tuongoze bwana lead us into your will tuongoze katika mapenzi yako na katika njia zako bwana deliver us from the schemes of the devil tutegue na utukomboe kutokana na hatari za yule muovu futi na wahasi weka ndani mioyo yetu shauki ya tafuta tukakemea dhambi ndani ya maisha yetu na tukatembee katika njia zako bwana we love you and we honor you we love you and we honor you let's lift up your hand to know to me kona yetu to know me kona yetu as i pray lord i pray for your church naomba kanisa lako father give us a faith that will overcome every challenge this year in jesus name naomba wazee naomba wamama naomba vijana wape imani ya kushinda kila jaribu 
jaribu ya kisiasa jaribu ya kiuchumi jaribu ya kila haina i pray that our faith will overcome and will give us victory this year in jesus name we love you and we bless you release your favor upon your church atilia kibali chako juu ya kanisa lako atilia ushindi wako juu ya watu wako anyone who is sick in our midst lord release your healing power atilia nguvu za uponyaji na uzima na amani kwa utukufu wa jina lako na bariki watu wako siku ya leo i release your blessing upon your people katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu nimeomba na kubariki watu wako can we say amen tunaweza kupigia bwana makofi mazuri in jesus name may god put in our hearts a faith that will overcome every challenge in jesus name bwana wetu asifiwe may god instill our heart a faith that will overcome everything tunaweza keti